this devotional can be found in 1st Nephi chapter 11 verse 22 and I answered him saying yea it is the love of God which sheddeth itself abroad in the hearts of the children of men wherefore it is the most desirable of all, above all things okay so the love of God is seen in everything how is it seen in the land we get to look at, in the freedom we get to enjoy, in the choices we get to make on our own and that aren't made for us. As soon as we understand how to make choices. Because as children, I mean, we can't always make our own decisions as children because we don't understand everything, but as we grow and learn, we eventually grow to a point where we are able to make our own decisions. I mean, agency's free. But how free is that to us if we're still learning about it? We can choose for ourselves. But we learn, we learn very quickly that there are consequences to choices if we choose inappropriately. And like a parent to a child, God will love us anyway. God will just show us the right way. And God will be with us as we make choices throughout our life. I mean, he can't interfere in the choices we make because that breaks heavenly law. Because he grants us agency even from the beginning. Hence, why Adam and Eve took the fruit, they chose to. But it was for our benefit that they did it. Without them taking the fruit, they would not have been able to multiply and replenish. They would have forever remained in their innocence. Sometimes we need to do things to be able to better understand. Our role mortality as children of God and having physical bodies that we may have certain experiences to grow, to test our faith, and to refine us. And the love of God is so great that he created the plan of salvation for us. He, he didn't want us living forever in our sins, so after the fall, so he made a plan that would include a savior. And Jesus Christ offered to be that savior and give the glory to God. Because God's work and God's glory is to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. And yes, that includes us. And the atonement was done. Christ descended from his throne on high out of love for his heavenly father. And because of, the, because of the atonement, the love of God can be felt by everyone who wants to feel it. We're not condemned to our sins if we want to feel the love of God. We shall be helped to feel the love of God. It's like that picture, Christ knocking on the door. If we let him in, if we want to let him in, he will be able to come in and touch our hearts and touch our lives and be able to just teach us from the inside out and refine us and help us from the inside out. I mean the love of God or the atonement of Jesus Christ cannot be bought with money. It cannot be sold. It can be thrown away, but why would anybody want to throw the love of God away? Because love is un love from God and Jesus Christ is unconditional. And I mean, well that's not s always so with mortals, because mortals sometimes place conditions on the love they give to others, which is really just somewhat ignorant. It's a good word for 
hope, but that's how it is. But the love of God is unconditional, and it sheds itself everywhere. It makes there's more than enough love of God for everyone, and more than enough of the atonement of Jesus Christ for everyone. I mean, Christ shed tears of blood for everyone. Nobody's excluded. But to be able to feel that love, and to be able to help have the atonement work in your life, you have to want it. I mean, it's not forced upon you. These opportunities are freely offered, and we have to want them in order for them to mean anything in our lives. But why wouldn't you want the love of God? I mean, it's very desirable. It's very nourishing to the soul. It's very relieving to the heart. And we as children of men in our imperfections, we could use all the we can use all the love we can get with the atonement and the love of God to help us to be able to handle what life throws at us because sometimes life can be a real pain. But it is your choice whether or not you want to feel the love of God and Jesus Christ in your hearts. The opportunities to feel it are everywhere. You just have to look for them and you have to ask. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given him. That goes for the love of God and the love of Jesus Christ as well. You just have to ask and it shall be given you. The scripture I just quoted was James chapter 1 verse 5. Trust me, it's very worth it to ask for it. I mean, why miss out on some unconditional love just because you want to be stubborn and choose your own way? Why miss out on unconditional love because you don't think it's for you, it's for everyone. And with that said, I love you all so very much. Please say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.